everybody, this is Heather, the Homesteading Hippie. Today I'm here with my good friend Dawn of OhSweetMercy.com and we're going to go ahead and make up some herbal tea blends for you. Dawn's going to start by making her favorite tea that she drinks every day. Dawn, why don't you tell us about it? My favorite tea is red raspberry leaf, stinging nettle, and rose hips. Oh, awesome. So go ahead and tell, tell me about it. Why do you like that? Well, I find it to be very calming and soothing, mm -hmm. and it's just something, you know, I've got two kids and two dogs, and they kind of drive me nuts, so sometimes I need a tea that's really calming and soothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Believe me, some days I really need it. Yeah, she's got teenagers just like me. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, why don't you go ahead and, and make, let's, we're, we're going to go ahead and make this up into a jar, and that way Don can take some home with her. And that we can enjoy this later too, because this mm -hmm. sounds really yummy. And it's wonderful. Yeah. So tell us about the measurements as well. Alright, so we're going to use one part of the nettle, <laughs> one part of the red raspberry leaf, and one fourth part of the rose hips. So for this recipe, we're going to do two cups of the greens. So we'll have one each of the nettle. So you're using like one cup of nettle and one cup of okay. nettle. Mm -hmm. There's one. And one cup of red raspberry leaf, which is fluffy. Yeah, that stuff is really that very and that's good. yeah. <laughs> that's amazing stuff. I love red raspberry leaf tea, especially I do. during the month where you get kind of crampy. Mm -hmm. The red raspberry leaf tea is perfect for that. Alright, and then half a cup of rose. Ooh, rose hips. Oh, that adds such a neat flavor. You know, the rose hips have like lots of vitamin C too. They do. That's another reason I like it. I like that support from my immune system. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So Dawn and I go ahead and she put it all in there. Nice and pretty. What we're going to do, shake that up. Because now we're going to mix it all together. Now, how much do you think you would use total for this, for a cup of tea? Probably... Two teaspoons, I would think. I, I have a little ball that I stuff it in, mm -hmm. and I also have a piece of muslin that I use sometimes to clip together, and, and I can't find the tea ball. <laughs> and then, like for like one cup of like eight ounces of a water. mug of water, yeah, you're just kind of your standard mug of okay. water. Okay, great. So we're, when you use this, you're going to use about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, to every eight ounces of water. You're going to let this steep for about five minutes. Try and cover the mug if you can. To let the keep the oils in the water. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's really good because it keeps all the good stuff in there. And then you're gonna drain it out. You can compost the herbs since they're in water, and enjoy your cup, your tea, and enjoy your tea. <laughs> okay, so our next blend that we're gonna make is what I like to call a nighttime tea. It's nice and relaxing just before bedtime. And I'm gonna have Dawn help us do that so we can see how easy it is to measure it at home. We're going to start off with one part of lemon peel, or half a cup. And again, it's really easy to just measure this out. Since we're not using it for medicinal purposes, it's okay to just kind of measure it with parts or half cups. Then we're going, this is mint for my front yard. I like to call it Yardus Interruptus. <laughs> Go ahead, plant some mint in your front yard. You'll see what I'm talking about mm -hmm. within a year. We're going to use two parts of this, okay. or one cup. Okay. I know, does it still smell good? It does. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and use one part of chamomile, or half a cup. Chamomile is also very easy to grow in the garden, and this year I'm actually expanding my garden more. It actually will come back every year as you cut it off. You're, when, you grow, when it's growing, the flowers are all budded. That's when you pull the little flowers off and dry them and where you get your tea. Beautiful stuff. I need stuff that grows on its own. Yes, you do. <laughs> Dawn has a black thumb. I do. <laughs> and then we're going to use one part of alfalfa, or one half cup. Why do you like alfalfa? I love alfalfa. I actually love the flavor of it. And it's actually really supportive for the liver as well. We'll just leave that cup there. Okay. And then we're going to use one part 
of lavender flowers. Uh, check that out. Bees love lavender, so this year I'm growing three times as much because I'm bringing out. Mm. So we're going to use a half a cup of lavender in this mix. And I'm sorry, the aroma is just really intoxicating. Mm. And we're going to use one half part of rose hips, again for the vitamin C and for the delicious flavor. It's kind of a mildly flavor to me. Yes. So this is. Uh, so we're going to use about a quarter cup of those. It's too late in the day for mouth. Yeah. Okay. And then we're just going to store that in an airtight lid. Pretty, pretty colors. I mean, look at that layers. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. So we're if gonna, you were going to give that as a gift, would you leave it layered like that, or would you shake it up? I would shake it up. Not that because, it, not because it wasn't pretty, but because this way it's easier to use. Mm -hmm. So when you go to use it, you're going to add about two tablespoons for every eight ounces of boiling water. You're going to let that kind of steep for about 15 minutes because of the alfalfa. You want to keep it covered while it's steeping. Drain it out, and again, because you're using water, you can compost those herbs and enjoy it. You can enjoy this tea up to three times a week. Only three times? Mm -hmm. And it's even safe for little kids. But you want to be careful, because if you're allergic to ragweed, you don't want to use the, the chamomile in there, because chamomile is from the same family. <laughs> okay, so the next tea we're going to make, I like to call our mother time tea, and this consists of one part of basil, which is really good for helping support like blood sugar and keeping those under normal levels. So one part or one cup. Let me get the bag open. There you go. Mm, smells good too, right? We're gonna do one part of red clover. Red clover is really good for like inflammation. Um, it has anti-inflammatory properties, so if you're wanting to drink that like at night, when you've, especially if you've overindulged, this is really good for that, kind of help that. Ooh, overindulged. Yeah. I never do that, do you? Yeah, well, no, of course not, especially not on the Sabbath. And we're going to add one part or one cup of red clover. I'm not looking at it. Okay. And then one part of mint, or again, Yardus interruptus. Seriously, people. Grow this in a pot. Again, it's oh, one part or one cup. On. That's perfect, because there's plenty more growing out in the front. And then we're gonna use a half a part of lemon peel. And that adds some flavor, a little bit of vitamin C. The lemon peel you can actually make yourself when you're getting like organic lemons at the grocery store, and you wanna use organic for this. And then you just peel off the white pith Dice it up, stick it in your dehydrator, and that's exactly what we're using here. And then one half part of rose hips. Again, another one of my absolute favorites for teas. Not only does it add the vitamin C, it adds such great flavor to it. And that is our mother time tea. So we're gonna go ahead and try some of Dawn's blend today. Want some fresh honey? No, I am real fast on that. It's from our bees. It's from your bees? From my bees. All right. And you must try just a little bit. I, my grandmother taught me to drink tea clean, and that's how I prefer it. Your grandmother's a communist. I'm kidding. It's just, <laughs> it's German Baptist. Mm. And it's not the same thing. And there's nothing more comforting or soothing at the end of a long day than a chat with your best friend over a hot cup of tea. It's good stuff. Hey, thanks for watching us today. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Be sure to check out Dawn's site. I'll have the link in the comments. Have a great night.